I will see if they'll, you know, buy it off me. Some money. I want to get steel up here. I need steel so fucking bad. I also would like to take some uranium. I reckon this place would buy it off me. But it's a pretty heavy gamble to carry that much. Um, I might just take a little bit of uranium with me. I've got Ambrosia. Not selling the jade. I'm selling the plastic steel. I want to take some of this, but not that fucking much. Can I take this back down to like a thousand? If they buy it, they'll buy it. And if they buy it, I can at least know that I can carry about that equivalent of steel. So, uh, what's it? Unable to reach packing spot. Okay. So, if that's the case, I mustn't have put a caravan spot down. I had one. I got rid of it. So let's slap a couple of these up in here. Since I know they'll just take it out here anyway. I've got one up in like a grassy spot up here. Had? Yeah, it was under this. <laughs> yeah, that's not there anymore. <laughs> What's that bad example? I would eat people. Yeah, no, that's another thing too is um, Grim, Grim, my mate, he got me into this game and he plays a cannibalistic style. So what he does is he like chops off his prisoner's legs and basically feeds it back to his colony. So his prisoners can't get away and his colonists are fed. And if anybody basically plays up, he just feeds it to them. Um, but at the same time, like, I could do that. I could feed my, like, shitty people to them, but not all my people are cannibalists. And some of them get really pissy when you kill somebody. Like, you get half a colony absolutely raging out because you killed somebody, even just a, like, organ harvest. It's quite funny. All right, I'll do another couple of caravans anyway. I do want to go up this way, and I want a lot of animals for this. So I'd be better off sending up two bigger ones for this. I might send Labia up for this for real. That's it. This whole situation works in game just fine, but when you try to think of some kind of possible real world scenario, it becomes absolutely evil and immoral. Look, real world scenarios end up evil and immoral anyway. It's like, it's reality. In game, there's people that are actually like happy go lucky and like excited to be outside, and it's like, what? That doesn't exist. Stop stop lying to me, game. <laughs> um, taking a whole fucking bunch of pregnant horses is not going to be a great idea. Take some... Oh, you guys are pregnant too. Oh, this is going to get... This is going to get thick real fast with animals. All right. How many have we got? I want this to be a stack of about 2,000 carry weight. A couple of riders. Yeah, there we go. About 2,000 because I want to merge this one once they're out. That way... People do enjoy being outside. That's that's speculation, though. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a rumour. I've heard of that. People enjoying being outside, blasphemy. Nah, I know people enjoy being outside. I, I don't know, there's too many bugs outside and shit for me. I don't know. There's also the sun. That, that's a big one. And that, that last time I went outside, there was a the sun outside. I don't, I don't know how you guys do it. I couldn't fucking see. Now, I actually get really badly fucking sunburned when I go outside because I've got really fair skin and um, I I sleep during the day, so I haven't seen the sun in a while for like real. So I I see it I see it at the moment because like I'm not sleeping and stuff due to the fucking heat. But yeah, all all jokes intended. I actually do actually sunburn pretty fucking badly when I go outside. I want that to be about five thousand. I actually want this to be a bit more six thousand. Is it half the time sun isn't there? So that's poor excuse. Yeah, but like the the other time, because like I'm in Australia too. You gotta remember when the sun's out, the sun's motherfuckingly out. Like if it was like 42 degrees on Monday, I had to like sleep on the tiles on the floor to like have any kind of reprieve from the heat. It was fucking nasty. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty fucking bad. Like you go outside, it's just death. So like even in the shade, it's kind of death. Um, I do kind of want to take more uranium. I think I already stacked up a thousand, so we'll stack up the rest of that, the five, four, four. I've already got plastic going out. I've got money going out. I've got all the skins going out. I've got, I could take a couple of sculptures. I've got the weight in it behind us, a couple of sculptures. Hey, Kilon, welcome back. How you going? What you up to? I could take a master work bed. I've got three of them. They might buy them somewhere. Not like I'm using it. It's a single bed. I'll put it somewhere. I heard the most dangerous creatures in Australia are Australians. 
yeah, sort of, sometimes. I mean, it, it can happen. Um, I don't only, I only only make the jokes more surrounding spiders, but I've got to stop making the spider jokes because I keep making them during RimWorld and poor Harrod keeps coming in to like visit during RimWorld and all he thinks I talk about is fucking spiders. And I kind of feel sorry for him at this point because I'm like, I don't, I don't just talk about spiders. Let's send that one up. And I'm going to send up another one. I'm going to send up another one and I'm going to hope that they merge. Because I wouldn't mind connecting with those, but there's a couple of these up here I wouldn't mind getting to. Obviously going to them would be great too, but I'll see what I can do. Send up to like here. I don't know. No for, was it no for a fact all spiders are edible? Oh my god. Yeah, no. <laughs> Fuck no. I've got to find another person that can sell shit. <laughs> Kilon, I'm so sorry you walked into that. <laughs> oh my god. Kilon's just returned. <laughs> That's what they've come back to. Oh my god. See that you're done now, Piggy. Like, Kilon's just gonna like retreat back into the darkness now. <laughs> just like fucking nope. Oh man. Fucking hell. I'm looking for, um, I'm looking for. There's Vulture. I think it's Viper though. I'll take both. I'll see if I can grab that and Viper, maybe. But yeah, no, nah, I think I'll go to Shadows. <laughs> Oh man, I'll see you again soon. <laughs> I'll see you again soon, Keelan. Hopefully there won't be spider speak by then. I swear, every time I play RimWorld, it is a conversation that comes up. I'm not joking. Like, I sometimes sit down and like watch through, um, what you call it, the uh, playthrough of like uh, RimWorld on YouTube every so often, just to, like catch up with what somebody's commenting on. And yeah, I sit there and I'm like, God damn, I speak about it a lot. Take brick. That's a lot of people, but it should be fine. Because I must proce process the uh, information in a way to unsee it. There's no way to unsee it, unfortunately, Keelan. It will be with you forever. Fucking, what did I see the other day that was like that? It was like a literal like slap across the face of like, I can't unsee that. I don't know what that was. I love how I can't actively remember, like it won't come back to me. Like that's how much my brain is trying to shut it out right now. I'll figure it out later. I'll probably remember. I'll probably remember in the morning when I go for a shower and I'll make sure to fucking like comment it into Discord so it's everybody else's problem. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't do that to you guys. We already know. We already know that all it takes is, um, uh, what's his name? Triantha wandering into Discord and we've got a hydrating raccoon in there all of a sudden that's almost enough i know that once all these horses and stuff have their like fucking babies and shit we'll have like too many creatures um but this should be a good slow of them so i would never look at my room is it my room spider same now you have a room spider do explain i want to know how this room spider is situation is i don't know how many i've said for them to take so far but i'll say 300 on this one I think I've said quite a lot of pemmican so far. I don't know if I've got that much left. But I am merging two groups going out, so it's not like it's a big deal. I'll just say take about 2,000 rice. I can always sell rice. It'll just take them longer to pack up and leave, that's all. Maybe 1,000 potatoes. We can sell potatoes. That's good money. I mean, he lives in the corner peacefully, sometimes crawling over me. In peace. Yeah, see, the, the crawling over you bit, that... That would involve a yeet. A yeet of something powerful. Like, I have, like, a little, little, like, jumping spider currently residing in my shower at the moment. There was, like, baby huntsmen's in there. Um, and they were fine so long as they weren't touching my shit. Um, as soon as they started hiding behind, like, my face washer and stuff, that was it. The contract was over. They they had to fucking move out. Um, there, was, there was no going back on that. Um... Is it highly arachnophobic, by the way? Yeah, I am too. I'm not as bad as my cousin is. She's literally like will rip the hinges off doors and windows to escape um, a building and or potentially set it on fire. But, I mean, it's fucking understandable. So, you know, I never question that. That will rot in 19 days, but I think it'll be okay. Maybe we just don't take that particular rice. They'll be fine with that. I think about it. Deep-fried spider can be toxic. The 400C oil will destroy any toxins. My foot stands. 
Yep. You see, there's the problem of actually putting it in the mouth. That 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 is the complication that doesn't compute. Um, I should probably get rid of some of my chem fuel. I don't use it. Maybe we could take chem fuel. That's good selling. I think I've been buying it and I don't use it. And I've already taken all the uranium, all the plastic steel. I've already brought all my blocks up here. I'm selling the bed, the sculptures. Um, I don't think I've got much else to give. I've got wood I could sell off. I've got, oh, that's going to get me attacked if I take that outside of the base. I should really sell that to a trader when they come by. I don't know why I haven't already. Yeah, that's a good one. Excellent. Good. Let's give it to the normal. Um, yeah, all of that shit should do. I don't know if I'm putting that on a different one. I think I might have. I don't know. And let's see. Shitty gear. See, not that. I don't want to... Well, the bicoded ones can come out of the base with me. So my people, they're told to um, scrap it, but they're not going to do it. You know. You know how they are. Tis a remold. Now, I did buy a lot of gold and shit, but I'm not going to. And I'm going to say another 6,000 with this lot. All right. So that's three caravans going out. Let's save that. Save that on both. All right. Go back in. I never said it should be pleasant or tasty or enticing. Edible is pretty low bar. Well, I'm fine with the spooder being anywhere because I know it doesn't want neither. Can it hurt me? I only like eat it when it crawls over my face. <laughs> I'm not fine with... I could just imagine... I could just imagine if there was anybody like lurking that's not okay with like spiders right now. It's just like probably yeeted their phone at that thought. I feel like... Because, like, I've had, like, a few interesting conversations about, like, spiders. Like I said, it's fucking RimWorld. It, it's something about RimWorld that does it. One of these days I'm going to design a base that looks like it. Be fine. Nah, spiders kind of like weird land crabs. No, no, no. Crabs are like weird, like, sea spiders. The other way around. <laughs> but, yeah, I know that that's immediately just put somebody off eating crab for life. But yeah, I, I know of that one. Did you look at those giant, um, what are they, those, are they king crabs or the snow crabs, whatever the fuck they're called, you know, the big ones. Like you look at one of those things moving around in the water and you're like, yep, no, nope, that's a fucking spider. That's a hundred percent spider. And then you're like, people eat those and we know what they taste like. So is by definition spiders taste like that? Is that why people be eating them? Like I can see the logic, but I'm still not going to eat it. So how are my animals doing? guys are hunting boomalopes yeah they've been doing pretty good tonight like my animals have kind of come back pretty good from last week's like cold snap that was the other thing i got was a cold snap in amongst all that shit the other week um so yeah i should have a fucking substantial amount of animals now at least more than 500 even though i've been selling them all night uh, baby mega soft that thing is fucking tiny I've been selling them all night, but we should be good. We should have over 500 now. You know, if you ever see one of the big bright colored spooters, I'm staying the hell away from those. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, we used to have um, golden orb weaver. Golden orb weaver spiders are like the size of your hand. I had like a whole heap of those. Um, basically in my last house, we had... Um, this weird season of spiders that came out. We had ones that looked like hermit crabs. We had like dinner plate size ones. We had all sorts of shit, right? And this one particular day, I opened up my garage door to go to work and just my entire driveway of my, like my unit complex that I was at, the entire place from house to like fence was completely just a like cove of spider webs with big ass hand sized spiders up in them the whole length of the driveway this is like five or six houses long um it was something i was i was mortified the entire time i was outside of my car trying to like shut my garage door i was like this is not okay but yeah they were just blowing around with the wind that day so as always australia <laughs> still foot so it's kind of it's not but it's kind of normal here it's just like you just wake up one day also it's the first of september so they're finally in spring we're finally in spring we've got three fucking caravans looking to go out 
we're going on an adventure to try to get um what you call it where are you going why are my horses outside yeah i guess i don't care um yeah we're trying to get steel for up here because this location needs steel like nothing i've got components i've got both types of components so i just don't have steel i think after i sell off everything else i've got and use like a good chunk of my money and stuff we should be pretty good to go i don't know how many is in each caravan i think yeah eight eight for that group i don't know where they're taking them i guess maybe over here i'm really curious where they're going because i don't have a gate here i need to put a gate here actually hold on that's an oversight all right, we'll build a gate eventually. But if that one's going there, where's the next group going? Uh, not you, although you are part of a caravan. No. Nah. If I can find the individual groups, I will figure out where they're going. There's a whole group coming down here. What are you doing? You're building a wooden floor. That's not what they're doing. I'm sorry to be running away mid-conversation again, but I shall look again. No, it's all good. I'm pretty much almost at the end of stream anyway. Um, I'm just sorting out where these caravans are. We've got a group of eight and ten. <coughs> now, thanks for stopping by, though, Killer. Again, sorry about the spiders. Again. Um, so we've got this group's going. I don't know where they're going, just to be clear. Oh, we do still have that. Okay, so we've got a group of eight. We've got a group of ten. Now i just got to figure out where the others are. Because there should be a third caravan. Here you go, Armadillo. Are you putting them there? No, you're just taking them through the base. My first instinct would be to annihilate the unknown arachnid. Most violence, any means necessary. That's not arachnophobia, though. It's common sense. Yeah. But it's more, though, that I had to get to work that day, so I couldn't just fuck around with them. I did come home and, like, deal with it later. My neighbours were not pleased. They enjoyed the, um, they enjoyed the spider catacombs that were our driveway. <coughs> Was it if it looks like a threat? It's a threat. Well, it was gold, yellow, and blue. And they were the size of my hands. So here's the Persona Core available. Um, let's see. Although, if you look it up, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be not a threat to humans. But they can eat, like, mice. If it's a threat, it must die. Let's see. This is brightly colored. That's usually worse. Yeah, well, that was my theory. Um... They want 23 dusters. Yaks Township. Wait, is that where we're going? Uh, no, but it's not that far out of it. Also, Ambrosia Pinch. You fucking wish, Lou. That's not what happens in this space. No, no, no. So I've got, like, a no drugs colony. It doesn't matter if it's, like, for benefit or whatever. They don't get to have them. So... When it comes down to stuff like this, basically just everybody goes and beats them up, puts them in hospital, maybe puts them in prison, depending on what happens. And uh, don't strip, just go away. Rescue, how's this health? Yes, yeah, it's, it's fine. And yeah, they just got beaten around. Yeah, generally whenever somebody has a tantrum, tries to go on drugs, tries to have some alcohol, does whatever in this colony, they kind of get slapped around, thrown in hospital or prison for a little while. You know, it's just, just how it is. Like, if they start eating the ambrosia that I'm taking to sale, we'll lose out on, like, not only a little bit of money, but my caravans will have a flip about the fact that they can't get all the items. And sometimes they will get stuck where they're like, oh, we can't leave because we can't find the last of this item. And something as rare as ambrosia, like, I can't just replace that. It's fucking annoying. I say if you misbehave, you go on the pegging machine. No. No, essentially what happens is, like, if my colonist tantrum... Like, as in, like, legitimately just have, like, a fucking full-on flip out. Like, um, if they're going to go pig out, I don't give a fuck. Go start a fire, whatever. Um, if they're going to go slaughter somebody or murder somebody or aid a prison break or go on some kind of drug binge, yeah, no, they're going to end up in the hospital and or they're going to end up in prison. It's one of the two. I've got zero tolerance for it, essentially. I just don't care for the other stuff. Like, picking out, I'm not really losing anything. Like, we have enough food. I can understand if I had a small colony and we didn't have much food, or if we had a heat wave and all of my electronics also went down in a solar flare, we might be fucked then. 
there is a possibility we could just absolutely have full fucking collapse. It has happened a couple of times before, not for this colony, but for other ones. But yeah, it's just a matter of like, depending on what it is, somebody's got sensory mechanized. Where is Shadow? There. Also, Shadow will be absolutely chuffed to know that he has joined our colony officially. Jeez, it's only taken six months to actually get a viable Shadow and get him in here. It took a while. But yeah, he'll be so fucking chuffed with that. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, we do have a Discord. Normally do just like hang out in there after stream and shit. Um, while I'm editing away and whatever. At least for like, you know, uh, a while while I'm conscious. Summer has been weird for me. I have not been like, I've not been like around much in my like usual times, but I am usually around in Discord. What is that? Four times handling wardening. Yeah, no, you've got handling hunting. I've really got to get some guns. Actually, come with me, Shadow. Get your gun. What are you doing? You, oh, you're going. No, wait, you're going on the trip? No, no, you're not going on the trip. You're just packing. Mate, what a champ. I'll get your gun in a second. Where's a good gun? Uh, there's a masterwork. Uh, you're playing a game. No, no, no. You, you go get yourself a masterwork. I see. Green's got mechanized. Green's back in the space. It's fine. I also do want to send a caravan from here up and down at the same time. So I'll have to send one up and I don't think I've got enough to send one down. We'll find out. So it's going to be interesting. I've got three caravans keyed up. This one's going to be going up. I don't really need much in the way of a talker. And Miss is still down here. I guess he got dumped. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's see. Stanley, Alban, not Jet, Jet's a cook. Agree. sure. You lot can go up. And I don't have many animals. Also, speaking of, turn that off. I don't have much supplies there, actually. That's brilliant. Um, just in case I get another quest, I'm going to have to keep an eye out for animals down here. So, alright. I don't have much. But I'll set up whatever I've got. So I have... Oh, that's not a lot. I could send more people than that. It does risk me having... Um, what do you call it? The mental breaks and stuff. But if I could just get a few more people in here, that would be fine. Alright. Get your setup like that. 1,500. And we should have... If I turn this on for a second. Yeah. So we're going to need more than 10 days because we are traveling for 10 days. I would like you to have, I'm guessing I've probably got like 30, 40 people. This is a gamble to get that many fucking people out of here. Not that, not that, never the exact amounts of small amounts of food and stuff because otherwise you're just running the risk that they'll never fucking leave with it. Because somebody will eat it. So 200 of that, I could probably take up more. I've got enough to take up more. And that's still a lot, but let's go with 3,000. Go 3,000, 2,000. You, mm, actually, they could really do with medicine. The other group have so many more colonists. Go with 50. Now, I don't need to take any more food. That's plenty enough. So this is limiting what we can take up. Components and stuff can stay here. I could take up the steel. I was going to build stuff with that, but if I keep deconstructing things, I guess what have I got? I'm not taking clothes. I could take silver, but I don't really need to. Guns and stuff I could take up would probably need that. Although the people here could probably also take up guns as well, but let's see if I can take them up to my people. The bionic stuff. Let's take at least one of each bionic. Because why not? One prosthetic of each. The skill trainers can go up. This is going to get attacked for fucking certain. I'm going to actually have to throw somebody in with a gun. I'll swap somebody in for a gun. Let's see, masterwork beds. Uh, they can go up. This is getting tight with weight. Let's see, another battery. I don't really need to send up the other fuel smitty. I could just deconstruct that. Bioframe popper. Sure. I would like to take up some blocks and shit. The steel would be... Probably the most useful thing. I don't need to take any of these, although if I needed to trade for something, I could. I am trying to, like, take up food, but I really don't need that much. I'll tell you what. Let's go no pemmican. And I have got quite a lot of this. Let's say a 1,000. 
That's 40 odd days. Let's go with 500. Okay. 500 is 20 days. That's more than enough to travel. Um, that gives me so much more space for stuff. All right. Let's see. I could take, I want to take the steel. And I think I should because we need it more than anything. I will take whatever I can carry in marble. Um, that's going to make him move so slow. Let's say 500 neat because they'll get some shit built. All right. There's not much else that they can carry. The only other thing I can do is really just tack on the silver. If they can carry it, they can carry it. We've got money then. And maybe some like plain leathers or something. If I've got to sell for something like fox fur, they'll sell for good. All right. So let's send this caravan up. Send that one up. And we'll need to send, I'm pretty sure, I still have like one, one or two few animals left. I also forgot to put a gunner in that group. So that's kind of, well, fuck. But, you know, doesn't matter. I'm trying to send people that don't have weapons out because I think they won't get attacked by somebody with like a gun or something, you know. I feel like I've got a slightly better chance. All right, this group's not going to be able to carry much because I do not have much left here. I do have a caravan that I need to go out, so I'll leave the dromedaries because they can ride out. They will be faster, so that would be good. I don't need to take much down to the other colony because I don't really want to take much down. So I'll see what I can load up. I need to take a healing mech serum, at least two, probably just the one actually. I want to heal Xena so she can come up and I'll take a spare just in case because I want half between the two bases. Now, psychic soup pulses would probably be great down there to try to get them to fucking hurry up and come up. And as for anything else, I don't think I need to take anything down with me. There's not much that I could take. Like, I could take gold or something like that, like if I've got to buy something, and I think I've taken all of my the furs and stuff with me. So if I needed to buy some sort of resources, I would say probably... I would honestly say about... Oh, not that one. I'm on the wrong thing. I would say probably about 500 would get me some food. 500 for food, and if I go with no kibble, I don't have that much of that because I've allocated a lot. I say 50 of this, not quite enough. Rice, we still have so much fucking rice available. That's not quite enough days. If I said, actually, I could probably just make that five. Sure. That's 10 days. That's barely scraping the barrel to get home. Another 12. Let's take that down to 10. Bare minimum to travel home. So I can probably get rid of a couple of people. So I'm just taking down Helamex serums and a couple of animals. That's all I'm doing. All right, if that's the case, let's take Delicious with me and let's leave a couple of extra people like Sky and Doug. And I'll take this down real low in numbers because I don't want to lose that many people on this caravan. That's two people, Silverware and Delicious. Any others? I could take Armadillo instead of, I think I clicked Armadillo? No, I didn't. Take Armadillo. They got a Plasteel weapon, so we might encounter somebody and delicious and I will see around town if I've got oh, so much food now I'll have a look around town to see if I've got enough um, uh, somebody with like a psychic shock lance or something you know because if I do I think it will be enough 16 that's still too many days let's try three there's 11 days worth of food attack in one extra person it won't be quite enough do that there's 12 days of food all right uh, sure. Do that, but what I want to do... Nope. Fucking hell, when I scroll up. Alright, so that's, what, four or five caravans, and I just need to find somebody in town in here. I don't give a shit who. I just need to find <coughs> who has got the Psychic Shock Lance, because they're going with this caravan, which is going to be hard to figure out, because I think it's caravan four up here. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look if I can find one, one person. I know, oh, there's one. Are you, you're not in a thing. Can I add you to caravan four, please? There we go. All right, so we've got five caravans in total, four coming out of this place, out of Quillen, one coming out of Salvation. So one's coming from Salvation to Quillen, one's going from Quillen to Salvation taking various supplies back and forth. Three are going to traders, two are going to merge. 
Um, the two that are going up, up here, they're going to merge because I really want to go past like blue, blue, uh, purple, and maybe see if I can get up to these blues or even go over to that blue. Although that's a solid ridge there. So I guess we're going up. I might get up to those. See how we go. I don't think I've got enough carry weight for that, but we'll find out. I am sending over one here and I would like to see if I can get down to, there is a gap there, maybe there, there and come back up. Maybe. If I can carry enough. If not, go straight there and come back via those two. That would be the best ideal thing because these guys, they'll have steel. Probably for sure. They'll probably also for sure buy uranium and or thrombo horn and stuff like that. Shouldn't be a problem. Everybody's going to go into a shit fit of a tantrum. So I might as well, not you, but you. Can I get you to activate that? Ain't nobody down here I think got one of those... Um, uh, what are they? Psychic Sue pulses. No, nah, I don't have one here. That's fine. But I don't actually have much here to sell anyway. I like how they're all playing games. It's nice. Okay, if I can also just grab... I'm not sure who the best talker here is, actually. Kind of sent my good talkers out of base. So I do want to call in one person, one trader here. Not like ASAP, but I need to sell all the clothes from this location um, let's see, silverware's at 12, 14 on Corpsey. I didn't realize you were still here, Corpsey. Okay, can I get you to just call in? I would say probably that one. Because, um, what am I trying to get in, actually? Hold on. I am trying to get in steel would be nice, but I'm trying to sell clothes. So it doesn't really matter. I think they would buy it anyway. I think they would be more likely to have steel, though. So... Call them. Call them and see how that goes. And, yeah, that's basically what I'm going to be focusing on next week is my caravans getting out since it's now spring. Um, and what else? With the caravans. See if I can deconstruct more of Salvation. Because we're down to so little is left here. Like, once I send the steel up, um, and once I sell off, like, the plast steel, the uranium that's here so I don't have to carry that, I'll have more blocks and stuff, but I'm not too worried if I take all of that. I would like to take as much marble and slate because it's not available up there, but it's not, like, mandatory. I've got so little food left now, but in saying that, I've got, like, 21,000 fucking pemmicans, so, you know, I've got some to take. Pemmican's not that heavy either. I want a... Yeah, just a bulk goods trader will do. Yeah, they'll, they'll sort us out. We're probably going to have to look at doing some tributes or something, which part of the reason why I needed steel and components here is to be able to make the transport pods. Although at this point, I might just say deconstruct that and that might give us enough components for that. Plus, if I deconstruct, there's not much in the way of electronics down here anymore. But if I got rid of... I think I got most of the stuff down here gone. I got rid of like the windmill and I left like the geothermals connected it up to here. I don't think I would probably need like the big solar farms and stuff. So I might look at maybe getting rid of the solar on this corner and connecting up the geothermal from this end up to here. And I don't know yet if I should just build in this area in here and try to remove the, the bedding area zones from down here so that we're not so far away. Because... Yeah, there's not much left. There's like the two geothermals. I could connect them by going like there and there. And then bam, we have so much power for this corner. And I could uproot like a whole smack of batteries again to send up top again. So there is that. But um, yeah, there's not really too much left to it. This group, Salvation should, it feels like maybe three, maybe four weeks, maybe just about a month to get them fully out of here and on the move. Mostly I'm relying on um quillen being able to bring down hauling animals because at the moment they're all up there and they're all about to go on a caravan so i'm not going to see any of them until summer so once they're able to send them down i'll be able to pack up the next lot and send them back up um and then from there yeah then it would be really nice to just be like situated in um in quillen again because that'd be pretty cool 